Today, we're going to Harbor Freight and we're going to see how many things that we can buy at Harbor Freight for fishing. You know what I'm saying? So let's get started. Number one. I made a video last month where I went to Harbor Freight and I bought tackle boxes. You would be amazed how many tackle boxes you can get for fishing at Harbor Freight. That's all I'm saying. They got boxes like Plano boxes that seal. They got boxes that just seal. They got every kind of rigid and tough box you could get to use for your fishing stuff. And if you ain't seen that other video, go check it out because it's cool. Number two. And of course, Harbor Freight sells buckets. Everybody needs buckets for fishing. I'm just saying. I actually got two bucket hack videos where I take buckets and I make things from buckets. And they're actually kind of interesting if you wanna go check them out. But like I said, number two, buckets. I just got through robbing the Harbor Freight. I guess that makes me a Pittsburgh Steeler. <sighs> number three. You can get stainless steel wire from Harbor Freight. You can get small little bundles of wire, or you can get big cans of wire, but there's a lot of things you can do for fishing with wire, like making popper floats. You could make Alabama rigs, stuff like that. You could use it for all kinds of things fishing related. Number four. You can get jumper cables at Harbor Freight. <gasps> oh my goodness, who would have ever thought? Of course you can get jump cables at Harbor Freight, but how you gonna use those fish? Well, I learned a trick from a buddy of mine, and he's a YouTuber too, by the way. You can use jumper cables in an emergency, and it's pretty cool. Now this right here you may never think of for fishing, but Harbor Freight has some cheap jumper cables. Now in my truck, I keep a nice set of jumper cables, but putting some in your boat's a great idea too. And it's for an emergency, you don't need no high dollar jumper cables. These right here were like $10, and they come in a cool little case, and they don't take up much room. But right here is my cranking battery. We've got a cutoff switch, which cuts everything off on the boat, and way over there is my trolling motor battery. Now if you're out on the lake and your cranking battery dies and you can't get your boat cranked, and you're gonna have to unhook one of those trolling motor batteries, move all those wires, unhook this cranking battery, and hook it up to your trolling motor battery so you can crank your boat. But if you've got some jumper cables, you can run jumper cables from your trolling motor battery over to your cranking battery and crank your boat to get you back to the boat ramp. That's pretty dang smart right there. And you won't have to have a whole bunch of tools and unhook everything. So it wouldn't hurt to carry a set of jumper cables in your boat just in case of an emergency. That's all I'm saying. You know what I'm saying. A guy walks into a bar with some jumper cables and orders a beer. The bartender said, okay, but don't be starting anything. Never five. You can get Velcro strips from Harbor Freight. And those things are cool. See what I'm saying? I got four rod and reels tied together and they pretty solid. Got a tie here, got another tie up here, and I got a tie up here at the end. But these ties hold these rods together pretty dang solid. Now they have different kinds and different sizes, but these little Velcro ties come in really, really handy. Number six. You can also get silicone ties, and those things are pretty cool too. These little silicone ties are great for fishing because they twist up real easy and they're very reusable and you can use them to tie things down in your boat. See that grab handle right there? I like to use it to tie things to that grab handle. You could also use this to tie your rods together, tie things to your tackle box, tie things to your cool. I mean, there's all kinds of uses for these little silicone ties, that's all I'm saying. Number seven. I buy a lot of epoxy from Harbor Freight. And I use that stuff for all kinds of projects. But one of the best deals you'll get at Harbor Freight is on their super glue. And you know, you can use super glue to glue your jigs on your jig heads and things like that. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I just poured super glue into a non-stick frying pan. Why would you do that? Because somebody's about to be a liar. I'm just saying. Number eight. You can get shop towels, microfiber cloths, and terry cloth rags at Harbor Freight really cheap. I'm just saying. And we always need rags while we're fishing. Number nine. 
You can also buy grommets for your rags over freight. And something cool you can do with these grommet kits, I actually had it on a hack video before, is you can make you a bait rag by just putting a slit in the corner of a rag, putting one of these grommets in it, and mashing it flat. That way you got yourself a bait rag that hardly cost anything. So I'm saying, make you a bait rag. Number 10. You can get all kinds of needle nose pliers over freight. And actually, they're not bad needle nose pliers. And everybody needs needle nose pliers when you're fishing in that hook out. I wish I had scales with me. You know what I'm saying? Number 11. You can get heat shrink tube at Harbor Freight. And I've done a lot of videos using heat shrink tube. I mean, I've literally made everything from dragon weights to green lights with shrink tube. You know what I'm saying? So everybody needs shrink tube and Harbor Freight's a good place to get. That's all I'm saying. Number 12. If you go to Harbor Freight to get you some shrink tube, then don't forget to get you a heat gun. Because heat guns are better than cigarette lighters, that's all I'm saying. And their heat guns are pretty cheap. And a lot of times, I've seen their little heat guns on sale for $10. $10. That's not bad. So, pick up a heat gun. Number 13. 13. 13. Yeah, 13. <laughs> gloves. We all need gloves for fishing at one point or another. Les got to put his glove on so he don't get bit. Don't get bit, Les. I my glove up on the shoulder. <laughs> oh. Oh. oh! He broke the f***ing key. Uh-uh. Yes, he did. Well, this broke my key. The Look at that. You broke it. The you know we ain't bringing you back, right? <laughs> 14. You can get WD-40 at Harbor Freight. I'm just going to leave this right here, and I ain't going to say nothing else. 15. You can get ammo box cans at Harbor Freight. Do I need to say anything else? I mean, I got a video. <laughs> know what I'm saying? Ammo box cans. I'm just saying. 16. <laughs> you can get all sorts of lanterns. You can get all sorts of lights. And you can get all sorts of flashlights at Harbor Freight. And you need those things for fishing. Unless you're fishing during the day all the time. I don't know. I don't know. You might. But it might get dark before you get home. That's all I'm saying. You're going to need a light. Come on, people. Everybody needs a light. And you can get them at Harbor Freight. <laughs> 17. <laughs> you can get your PPE at Harbor Freight. So get your PPE, people, from Harbor Freight. Make sure you got your safety glasses. Put your respirator on. Get you a face shield. Put you some kind of coat on to keep you safe. And you're going to need some gloves. And you're going to need a whale jacket. But seriously, Harbor Freight has all kinds of safety glasses, dust masks, they got painting respirators, they even got face shields and stuff like that. They got weld helmets. They sell nice weld helmets too, I'm just saying. Don't forget your PPE. That's all I'm saying. 18. They've got multi-purpose scissors at Harbor Freight. And these things are cool because I've got multi-purpose scissors that I bought for fishing, but they're like $20 a pair. Harbor Freight's are much cheaper, that's all I'm saying. And that's kind of cool too. 19. <laughs> On my last video, I talked about running lights for your boat. And I showed a video of my buddy installing running lights on his boat. Well, you can buy those lights at Harbor Freight for your boat. And it might be shocking, but they got a pretty big selection too. I'm just saying. 20. You can get all kind of parts for your boat trailer at Harbor Freight. As a matter of fact, you can get parts for any trailer at Harbor Freight. But most of them's the same as boat trailer parts. Really ain't no difference. So, if you need to work on your boat trailer. 21. Now something else, they got all kinds of battery chargers at Harbor Freight. And you might be like me and have a battery charger already in your boat. You could use those chargers for your cranking battery, for your trolling motor batteries, for your kayak batteries. I mean, whatever. But most fishermen need a charger. So I'm saying. Now there's seven more things that I found at Harbor Freight that I thought was cool. But these things are really not for fishing, but they're for DIYs. And this is a fishing DIY channel. So, this stuff's useful. I get boats at Harbor Freight a lot because they're cheap.
think he's about six dollars and something, if I ain't mistaken. And they got all kinds of fasteners if you do DIYs like me. I mean, you can even get boxes of O rings. And you know, bass fishermen use O rings for wacky rigging. I'm just saying. I also bought these two boxes, two boxes. And they have bolts, washers, and nuts, and pins. What do you call them pins? Potter pins? Something like that. And both of these boxes also come with a schematic that tells you what everything is. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? But the coolest thing about these boats or these boats, when you're through with the boats, you got yourself a tackle box and you can put fish and stuff in it. You know what I'm saying? Hey, I'm just saying. I got a joke about nuts and bolts. Well, go ahead and tell it. Never mind, I'll just screw it up. Now, Harbor Freight is where I got my press from. And then I made a little die for it made into a press brake, remember? So you can bend stuff like the rod holders I made or the cleat mount rod holder I made or, you know what I'm saying, 20 ton press. You can also get a portable bandsaw at Harbor Freight. And I took a portable bandsaw and made my own table bandsaw. You may have seen that video. That thing comes in handy. Something else that's good to buy Harbor Freight is primer, paint, and bed liner. And you're gonna always need primer, paint, and bed liner if you watch my channel, I'm just saying. Now, Harbor Freight has a bunch of soldering irons. They've got some cheap ones and they've got some good ones. And a lot of the DIYs I do, I need a good soldering iron. I'm just saying. A lot of you may have never tried it, but if you wanna try, Harbor Freight ain't a bad place to buy a welder. I mean, you can get some pretty good deals on welders. I have actually, for a long time, thought about buying a cheap welder from Harbor Freight, build a few things with it, and see how good it works. I don't know. If you like that idea, leave it in the comment section and let me know. I still may do it. Well, there you have it. 21 things, actually closer to 30 with the bonuses, but 21 things that we can use for fishing from Harbor Freight. Hey, if you like this video, then you're probably gonna like this video. So you should go over there and check it out. I'm serious, go over and check it out because this video is over. You know what I'm saying?